let's talk about grouping. Um, we have a short little report here, and let's preview it. And we can see the order ID and the order date, customer, and country. Now you've been asked to group this by country, which makes sense. Now up across the top on our little set of toolbars, this is our insert group. And it says, what field are we grouping on? Well, let's find the country. And we're going to do it in ascending order. And we're going to say OK. And we have a new group header and a group footer. Let's preview that. Very nice. Now, let's take it to the next step. We actually now want to group within here by month. Okay, so when we group by month, because it is a date field, Crystal Reports gets very, very smart. Let's go back. We're going to do another group. So this time, we're going to find our order date. And notice it comes down, it gives us this additional option. So order date for each week or each month or notice our date driven options. We're going to say for each month. And I'm going to take that field, I'm going to move it in just a little bit. And let's preview that. So I can see I am grouping by month. And let's go back one more time. This time, let's format that field so that it shows the actual month. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to right-click, Format the Field. And I have all of our options here. Notice all of our options. We're going to pick this one here. No, we'll pick this one. This uh, looks tidier. And let's say OK. And let's preview. And we can see the options. Now, let's go back. This time, under the details, we're going to right click and we're going to suppress that. And let's preview it. So we can just see the amounts. We don't see the customers. But we can build on that. Let's go back, right click, and don't suppress it. Now we're actually going to create values, sums in here, which is right next to this insert a summary. And we are summarizing on, notice, customer country. We're going to sum it. But we can't sum a country. So let's do, instead of that, the order amount. And now we can sum. And where do you want to put this? Well, we're going to put this. Notice our choices. Let's think about this logically. We're going to put this in customer country, and it is going to sum up the order amount by country. Let's see if it works. Now, we're going to take this group footer, and I'm actually going to color code that. I'm going to go into my section expert and change the color of just that section to something very, very light. A pale, pale yellow. A very light little yellow. And let's preview. So, Argentina in June of 2004 had $16,000 or $1,600 worth of sales. All right, well, let's align that a little bit differently. And let's move it up beside and suppress the details and notice what we see. By month 
and total by month. So the grouping is very, very effective. Now, we said no drill down, but I do have the opportunity here to navigate to different countries. Notice the group tree. And let's go back. I could now collapse these values and let's put a line in this bottom one here. And let's preview that. So we can clearly see the different countries. And that's the end of this little demo.